Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022-23 Panini Revolution Basketball. Eight box, random team break number one. Uh, you can obviously see that the next one is already in the store. One spot gets you two teams. That's a pretty good price point for this brand new Revolution Basketball. And all card ship. Big thanks to this group right here. Let's double you up. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. And all 30 teams are in. No combos. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Five and a three, eight times each. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight times, we got Ed P down to Brian. Five and a three, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got doubles down to the Pistons. All after eight times, right? Got it, got it. Eight, 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 eight is great. All right, Ed, you got the Bulls, Craig with the Hawks, Michael with the Celtics, Craig, you got my Lakers who are down. Grizzlies are up 41-32. Neil with the Mavs, Craig with the Sixers, Nancy with the Magic, Russell with the Suns, Scott with the Wizards, Jeremy with the Thunder, Neil with the Clippers, Scott with the Heat, Jeremy with the Hornets, Jordan with the Pacers, Russell with the Nuggets, Brian with the Trailblazers, Scott E with the Grizzlies. Last spot, Mojo. Jordan with the Raptors, Craig with the Spurs, Nancy with the Jazz, Mark with the Kings, Craig with the Nets, Michael with the T-Wolves, Ed with the Pelicans, Scott with the Bucks, last spot mojo again, double last spot mojo, Russell with the Cavs, Mark with the Knicks, Russell with the Warriors, Craig with the Rockets, and Brian Watford, Detroit Pistons, Detroit basketball. Let's sort by column B. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals done. Appreciate everybody getting in. Next half is in the store right now. Let's get in on it, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Brand new release, just dropped today. It's, this is a light case, but it's sort of an awkward size. So let me try to navigate this here. Oh, they're inner cases. Were they always inner cases? I don't remember. All right, well, let's roll the die. We'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Three, one, two, three left side, and then we'll save this. Is there a label on here? There is a label on here. We'll save this. Four for random team two. Take this out of our inventory system as well. in here. Got Luca on the box.
And if I remember correctly, an autograph is not, an, unless they change the configuration, which I don't think they did. We're looking for galactic parallels. As well, those are the short prints, but it, there's not an auto a box. I think in previous years, there's been, um, there's been like, what, three, four autos per inner case, and maybe one galactic per master case, as they would call it. All right, halftime, Memphis up 59-44. Lakers are still in it. They're looking, they're looking all right. They come out of the half. They come out in the second half strong. They might be able to seal another one. That would be crazy. All right. So these are just the regular ones if you're not familiar with. So the, the one that kind of has the wave or the shimmeriness in the back are just the regular ones. Cubic is number to 50. It's Miles Turner for, uh, for Jordan and the Pacers. So these will be considered the base, but all cards ship. And then that's a parallel. That's Astro, right? And they'll have the parallel names on the back. These are just the base. You can kind of get an idea. This is Groove, right? Yeah, Groove. Got Vortex John Morant. We've got Bryce McGowan's Fractal. They changed the Fractal parallel a little bit. Ty Ty Washington. There's Astro Johnny Davis. Vortex John Morant. Got Malcolm Brogdon Astro, Mark Williams. We got a liftoff die cut, Cade Cunningham. These die cuts are pretty cool. <laughs> Chilo hopes that John Ryan's gun hand, trigger hand is okay. We wouldn't want to mess with that. There's Keegan Murray, rookie revolution insert. Johnny Davis Groove. All right, good box one. Good start. Next box. He never discharged the, the weapon, did he? He was just seen holding it. Gabe, wasn't it you who said that, uh, that the gun looked really small? I actually haven't seen the I actually haven't seen the video or the photo or whatever it was. It's like the gun from Men in Black. The Noisy Cricket, I believe, is the name of the gun. The tiny gun in, uh, in Men in Black. There's another got a good look at it. We can move a little bit faster here. We got Kevin Durant, future frame. That's a new insert, 13 out of 60. That's pretty cool, future frame. That's uh, still Nets edition here. That's going to go to Craig. All right, another box. The video kind of gave you a chuckle. All right, I gotta...
die cut here. Lakers only shooting 36% from the field. Grizzlies are shooting 50%. That, that's got to regress to the mean. That's got to, Lakers will probably be there in the second half. Nice, Chilo. I'd love to see you there. Planning a trip to the National, crunching the numbers. Lollapalooza happens a week afterwards. Maybe a little extended vacation. Here is Impact, Alperin Sengun to 149. Spencer Dinwiddie Astro. Yeah, especially if you're getting into the selling side of the hobby. I, th I think that's it's crucial. I think it's really important to go to the national and kind of check out what's what everyone's doing there. You can write it off too. Business trip. Maybe write off some adult beverages with uh, with Joe Jaspi. Here's a uh, Christian Braun, 43 out of 50 cubic. That'll be for Denver. That's going to go to Russell. Who's at Lollapalooza? Who are the headliners? Uh, last weekend was, well, last weekend was week one of Coachella. Um, this weekend, week two of Coachella. So last weekend, one of my buddies uh, set up uh, the live stream and like a projector on, on a big wall of his. It had a little, uh, a little home cella action happening, which was a lot of fun. Many, many adult beverages were consumed. The, uh, the line to the bathroom was very short, non-existent. At home, Chella, you were able to, I was able to get some, I was able to get drinks immediately when I wanted to. Sound system was good. So I had a little, uh, little home Chella party last weekend, which was a lot of fun. Kendrick Lamar, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Lana Del Rey. It's a pretty good lineup. There's Bradley Beal, future frame to 60. Trade tickets are so cheap, might make two trips out of it. Well, you know, I'm obviously an advocate of the train, Gilo. I try to take the, uh, the Amtrak whenever possible. Here's a Jalen Williams. This is Arkansas edition. But he's pretty good. And the other Jalen Williams might, might be even better. Santa Clara edition. Oh, there's our first auto. And it's an old school piston. It's Joe Dumars. Uh, for Brian Watford in Detroit. I think Joe Dumars is uh, on the... Is he on the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The, the discipline committee, I guess? He's the executive uh, uh, vice president head of basketball operations in the NBA. He's the one that suspended uh, Draymond for the game. That's his deal. Nice. All right. Halfway through this uh, inner case break. I think, that might, I think this break might go into a standard tub here. But yeah, the, the, the Amtrak to San Diego was interrupted last, last year, last fall, I want to say. There was a big rainstorm, and it kind of washed because the Amtrak to San Diego, from L.A. to San Diego for a good chunk of the time hugs the coast. And um, on one of the parts near the coast, 
the uh, the heavy rain. I think it was that hurricane that hit Mexico. If you, some of you might remember that. But uh, it brought heavier rain to Southern California, and it washed away made part of the coastline and made a and made it um, unstable. So they've been working on it. And I think that yeah, they reopened yesterday, right, Jack? Um, I'm actually taking the train to San Diego, Jack, visiting a college friend down there. And uh, yeah, but before it, the train would take you to San Clemente, if you know the area, then it would have, it would bus you down to Oceanside, where the where the train would retake you back down there. But now. The repairs are done, and they had weekend service going. Now it's full service to San Diego, so I'm happy about that. It's a great train ride. Yeah, I love that ride too, Jack. It's great. It's uh, I'm a fan of it. There's Fractal Jason Tatum liftoff die cut. What's up, Johnny? And it probably takes about, with traffic, it'll probably take about the same time as it would driving, right? 32 out of 99, Fractal. Jalen Brown for the Celtics, Michael. It's Jalen Duran, LaMelo Ball. I think the train ride from L.A. Ooh, and another autograph, another old school guy, Sam Cassell. Houston. Goes to Craig. So from L.A. to, from Union Station in downtown L.A. to downtown San Diego, generally is about a three-hour ride. So many times just driving to San Diego um, would be, could be three hours. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, well, the breaking is not going to stop. We break seven nights a week. So just because I'm out of town doesn't mean this stops. So we'll have people... I think Chris Jaspi is covering tomorrow, Thursday. So, well, no, I'll be in San Diego. You know, taking a, a quick, little, uh, quick little vacay. But I'll be back on Sunday, my usual day. I'm only missing a day. But Chris will be covering for me tomorrow, and then Jason will be here the usual Friday, Saturday. And I'll be back on Sunday. But yeah, instead of three hours in traffic, though, Gilo, two and a half, three hours... Um, that I can I can read on the train I can sleep on the train all right let's keep rolling here it's Astro those are not numbered I feel like we haven't seen any of the big rookies yet. So that's Jalen Duran. There's a fractal is is not numbered. There's a LeBron liftoff. It's gonna be the 80s. I know. I, I was looking at the weather. I think it. I think it's pretty nice. Shorts, shorts and tee. There's Malcolm Brogdon. To 60. Shorts and tee during the day, maybe a, a hoodie at night. Shorts and hoodie at night. That's Jaden Ivey. Rookie car for Detroit. That'll be for Brian. Two boxes left.
Sounds like the proper tire. I think so too. I think I'm gonna. What am I? What am I doing? I think we're gonna. I think one of the days I'm gonna be checking out the the aquarium in La Jolla. Jack, believe it or not, in all my years of living in San Diego and going to school at UC San Diego, I have not been to that aquarium. Isn't that crazy? So I'm gonna, so we're going to, uh, yeah, the Birch Aquarium at Scripps, right. We're gonna, and now there's a, the, there's a trolley stop up there. I mean, you know this, I don't have to tell you this, but there's a trolley stop up there at UC San Diego now. So my friend lives in uh, Little Italy. So we can just pop right on the trolley that takes us right to sort of the east side of UC San Diego walk down to the aquarium. Take a nice leisurely walk down to the aquarium. And here's a Jaden Ivy die cut, nice. Pistons, that'll be for Brian. In case he public transit is pretty non-existent, could I get around Chicago without a car? Don't know the size thing about that set. Yes, you can. Chicago public transit is, uh, especially if you're coming from a place without good public transit, Chicago is excellent. Is Rudy Gobert 50 out of 99, cosmic. And at worst, you could probably take a, probably take a ride share service to the nearest public transport stop and easily get from place to place. Just have to plan it out a little bit. Obviously, it's not gonna be, I don't think it's gonna be as fast as a car. Nice Benedict Mathurian. Pacers, that's gonna be for Jordan. Nice, yeah. Um, I think my friend lives right around there too, but uh, love, love the little Italy area. A lot of great food there. It's Kevin Porter Jr., 31 out of 50 cubic for Houston. Craig, and the last box. Good luck. Second half in the store, second inner case in the store right now. I could retire to Little Italy, Jack. I could retire there. Now, going back to the National really quick, Gilo, what's great about the National is that um, is that it's actually right near the airport. It's not like in downtown Chicago. So there are, and if you end up getting a hotel room at any of the, any of the hotels that dot the convention center around there, um, you can, uh, there's like a bunch of shuttles I'll take to and from the airport. And then you could probably, you can take an Uber downtown or you can take public transportation downtown as well. But in terms of the, uh, in terms of the convention and the national, it's just right there, right next to the airport. So take a little shuttle bus, take you right to the hotel and then you're walking distance to the other hotels. If you have friends in other hotels or whatever, often trade nights at various hotels around. Here's a die cut fractal, Jason Tatum for the Celtics, Michael. And Jaden Ivy Groove Parallel, nice. That's gonna go to Brian and Detroit.
And we got another auto, Io Dasunmu. That'll be for Ed P and the Bulls. And then we got a Chris Middleton, Cosmic to 99, Booker, Randall, and Simons to close things out. So there's one, two, three, four, about four autos. I think could be as few as maybe two or three, but I think you can get as much as five, six maybe if you're lucky in some cases. But average, probably three or four. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Revolution Basketball, brand new release. Just dropped today. Second inner case in the store. Check it out, and we'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.